first reading. A reading from the book of Numbers, chapter 21, verses 4 to 9. From Mount Hor, they set out by the way to the Red Sea to go around the land of Edom. But the people became impatient on the way. The people spoke against God and against Moses. Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no food and no water, and we detest this miserable food. Then the Lord sent poisonous serpents among the people, and they bit the people so that many Israelites died. The people came to Moses and said, We have sinned by speaking against the Lord and against you. Pray to the Lord to take away the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said to Moses, Make a poisonous serpent and set it on a pole. And everyone who is bitten shall look at it and live. So Moses made a serpent of bronze and put it upon a pole. And whenever a serpent bit someone, that person would look at the serpent of bronze and live. The Word of the Lord Second Reading A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Philippians Chapter 2, verse 6 to 11 Who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The Word of the Lord. What is a cross? What is a crucifix? Have you seen one in your life? Let us examine through this gospel passage. The gospel according to John. And no one has ever gone up to heaven except the Son of Man who came down from heaven. As Moses lifted up the bronze snake on a pole in the desert, in the same way, the Son of Man must be lifted up so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. For God loved the world so much that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not die but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to be its judge but to be its savior. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends in Jesus Christ, Today, we celebrate the feast of the exaltation of the cross. Have you seen cross in your life? We might have seen cross in our rooms, or we might be uh, having in our rings, or we might be wearing in our neck, or we might have seen in the church. It's very easy to make. It's only two beams, one horizontal and the other one is vertical. We might have seen cross in everyday life, but have we ever meditated? what this cross means, or what this simple structure means. In the Gospel today, the Lord says, God so loved the world that he gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. In John 3.16, so God becomes man, it's horizontal, 
And then Irenaeus says, God became man so that the man can become divine. So it's the horizontal relationship, the incarnation. And uh, the horizontal line is my relationship with my father, my God. And the other one is the vertical line. When I say vertical, the second reading today says, the letter to the Philippians, God emptied himself, Jesus emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness. And found in human appearance, he humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. So he participated in our humanity, so this is vertical. And the whole Ten Commandments can be summarized in this cross. The first three commandments, my relationship with my God, the horizontal line. And the remaining seven, my relationship with my neighbor, the vertical line. So when I say we celebrate the exaltation of the cross, we celebrate our lives. We celebrate our everyday lives. So my dear friends, we can't have or we can't make one cross only with horizontal line or only with vertical line. But we have to have both. My relationship with my God and my relationship with my neighbor. If one lacks, I'm not a Christian. So let us think twice. When we go to the church or a chapel and when we see the crucifix or a cross, let us meditate on this. My, my dear friends, you might have seen people very holy, pious, but wicked. You know, they are very good. They do devotions, novenas and everything. But you can't speak even a little word with them. You can't uh, just share your joy or a sadness. So you can't have your, the relationship with God and, you, uh, and hating your brother. No, it's not a Christian life. And in the same way, you might have seen some people who are very good. They help the poor and do very, very good. But they say, I don't need God. So only relationship with my neighbor without having relationship with my God. So only vertical won't do. So we have to have both so that we may become a good Christian, a good follower of Jesus Christ. And when I have these two, look at the crucifix. And when I have these two, I become a Christian. And so that I can say that I celebrate this cross in my life. So happy feast. God bless you.